Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna unbox and review the new Rei RGE4 Wi-Fi 6 router. I'm gonna do my full-on speed test range test using both my Galaxy S23 Ultra and iPhone 15 Pro Max, both of which are Wi-Fi 6E devices. So they both support Wi-Fi 6. We'll see how that works. Now, a few things that are interesting about this budget router is the fact that it has dual WAN aggregation. You don't see that too often on the budget ends. It allows you to connect two connections, internet sources to basically boost your speeds. Rei A Mesh 3.0, so if you have another one of these you can actually combo it in to create a mesh network out of it an exclusive gaming ssid i don't see that too often obviously the 116 megahertz channel with um, also helps we got five antennas we have qos ray mesh right here and we got some gigabit ports so in the box we get some instructions right here so pretty uh, straightforward setup we get a warranty card so again we got five antennas they do not bend side to side so just up and down like that and Oh, I guess these bend, but these these don't left to right. Um, so yeah, so this is and antenna placement actually matters. Just an FYI. Um, so we got some vents and everything. You could wall mount this thing, and we have four ports. Four of them are gigabit ports. They are dedicated ports, so the WAN would go right here, which is basically where your internet comes from. WAN stands for Wide Area Network. Uh, if you were using dual WAN aggregation, you would need to use both of these, uh, and then the uh, basically, the rest you can use to hook up to a switch or to a computer or some other device. Uh, we have the power plug right here. It looks like we have a factory reset, and we have the mesh button right here. We have the power plug right here. It is 100 to 240 volts and an Ethernet cable, which I imagine is CAF 5 e It does not say. So it's been about a week since I've unboxed this thing using as my main router, and so far so good. So no job, super easy setup, and in that time I had a chance to do all my speed test range tests, which I normally do. And during the unboxing, I mentioned that I was going to use these two devices for my Wi-Fi 6E, got similar numbers. In addition to that, I also decided to test with my OnePlus 11 5G, which is my Wi-Fi 7 device, again, backwards compatible with Wi-Fi 6. Now, typically, 6E and 7 devices get slightly faster speeds on a, even on a Wi-Fi 6 device. So... This video is sponsored by Rei, so full disclosure there. But again, as normal, I do all my speed test, range tests, keep the format the same as all my other router and mesh Wi-Fi videos. So let's jump straight in with the internet speed test. Now, no matter how fast your router is, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speeds. But that's also true, you can also be limited by your router speed. So in my case, my internet speeds are five gigabits upload and download. So because this Ray only has gigabit ports, it actually automatically caps me at gigabit speeds. So right off the bat, this caps at gigabit speed. So if you have internet speeds faster than gigabit, I would look for another router. However, up to these speeds, this thing performed extremely well. So with my computer hooked up via ethernet, I get those full speeds, no problems. With the Wi-Fi devices, obviously there is a drop in performance. And as we can see here that the Wi-Fi 7, both the Wi-Fi 7 and Wi-Fi 6E got very similar numbers to each other. Again, a drop in speeds, which is typical for Wi-Fi devices. Now to find the true performance of this router, I do a local speed test server where I make my computer into the server and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer, isolating the router so I get rid of my ISP and the public speed test server. And I've done a separate video on this where I go into great detail on how to set it up and everything like that. Links below if you guys are interested. Now looking at these speeds, there is an improvement, especially in the download section, especially for Wi-Fi 6E, got very close to gigabit speeds. Next we get into range tests. Now range will vary vastly by location. If you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, if you're in a building with a lot of other routers around, all of this stuff can negatively impact your range. So again, results will vary. Essentially, the more obstructions, the less the range. Now, in my case, I typically get more range because I'm in more of an open area. Granted, there are a few walls when I go outside, but with this Ray, just like I did with the Orbi before, I will be capping my range chest to 100 feet. The reason being is most of my views are on mobile devices and when I try to look at the data, it is very tiny, very hard to see. And I kind of just want to get the point across that can you use this in the front yard, in the backyard? And that's really the main point of this thing. So again, I'm capping my uh, range test to 100 feet. This doesn't mean it can't go past 100 feet, it just means I'm capping it to simplify it to make the numbers bigger, larger, easier to see. So looking at these range tests at 20 feet away inside my place, hardly a drop when it comes to the upload. In fact, 
the for some reason at 20 feet away the download speeds actually got slightly faster but basically around the same speeds at 50 feet away this is when i'm outside still getting phenomenal speeds hardly a drop which is crazy because i'm outside at this point and at 100 feet this is still doing extremely well these antennas really make a huge difference for setup and configuration use the ray app which is available both on ios and on android very simplified app and it has a ton of functionality for something in this price range however i do have one gripe and it is a personal preference thing but i feel like they could make the app look a little more refined something similar to what tp-link tether does uh, tp-link does with their tether app which it just looks a little more refined compared to the ray app now everything's organized very well easy to find stuff but i feel like it could be refined a little bit more and that's one example so but in terms of functionality you get basic parental controls nothing crazy you could basically pause certain devices that belong to your kids if you want to do that you can have four different ssids which i don't think i've seen for something in this price range uh, but that's kind of crazy because you get your regular SSID. Your SSID is basically your Wi-Fi name that you connect to. So you get your main one. You get a guest one if you want to enable that. You get a gaming one, which I mentioned during the unboxing. And you can even set up an IoT one, Internet of Things. So for smart home devices like, uh, I don't know, like a smart switch or a smart plug or something like that, you can actually have a separate Wi-Fi uh, for that and obviously your cameras as well that could connect to it, security cameras and stuff so there is that you can there's a game turbo mode you have vpn options you can even reduce the signal strength uh, for basically uh, radiation control so you can actually reduce the strength or increase it now all my testing was done with at its highest strength just to get the fastest possible uh, numbers in conclusion, this router offers a lot of functionality, very good speeds up to gigabit, and very good range for something in this price range. But as always, let me know what you guys think in the comment section as well. And as always, smash that subscribe button. I have a whole lot more router and mesh Wi-Fi videos coming up. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.